Saint Blandina, virgin and martyr, belongs to the band of martyrs of lions who, after some of their number had endured the most frightful tortures, suffered a glorious martyrdom, and concerning whose death we have the touching report sent by the Church of Lions to the churches of Asia Minor. The fanaticism of the heathen populace in Lyons had been excited against the Christians so that the latter, when they ventured to show themselves publicly, were harassed and ill-treated. While the imperial legate was away the Chiliarch, a military commander, and the Duumvir, a civil magistrate, threw a number of Christians, who confessed their faith, into prison. When the legate returned, the imprisoned believers were brought to trial. Among these Christians was Blandina, a slave, who had been taken into custody along with her master, also a Christian. Her companions greatly feared that on account of her bodily frailty she might not remain steadfast under torture. But although the legate caused her to be tortured in a horrible manner, so that even the executioners became exhausted, as they did not know what more they could do to her, Still she remained faithful and repeated to every question, I am a Christian and we commit no wrongdoing. Through fear of torture heathen slaves had testified against their masters that the Christians when assembled committed those scandalous acts of which they were accused by the heathen mob, and the legate desired to wring confession of this misconduct from the Christian prisoners. In his report to the emperor the legate stated that those who held to their Christian belief were to be executed and those who denied their faith were to be released. Blandina was, therefore, with a number of companions subjected to new tortures in the amphitheater at the time of the public games. She was bound to a stake and wild beasts were set on her. They did not, however, touch her. After this for a number of days she was led into the arena to see the sufferings of her companions. Finally, as the last of the martyrs, she was scourged, placed on a red-hot grate, enclosed in a net and thrown before a wild steer who tossed her into the air with his horns and at last killed with a dagger. Her feast is celebrated on the 2nd of June. O Saint Blandina, Virgin and Martyr, Despite of all the gruesome tortures which thou didst endure for the love of Christ, you persevered and continually trusted in God for his help and assistance. And such a great manifestation of his majesty's power and assistance to those who put their trust in him, despite being greatly feared by your companions that thou might not remain steadfast under torture due to your bodily frailty, thou not only, by the help of God, endured the horrible tortures that were imposed upon thee. Thy executioners too, became exhausted and did not know what more they could do to thee. When they bound thee to a stake and wild beasts were set before thee, not only did our good God preserve you from them devouring thee, they too, touched thee not. Now then O great saint, you who suffered so much so perseveringly, yet too with such great intensity of love for God. Obtain for us the grace of perseverance and the grace to trust in God just as how you did in thy trials. Please also obtain for us the grace of purity of mind and conduct and the grace to love God with so great an intensity, that we will persevere until the very end until we come into his presence. In gratitude, we desire to increase our love and trust for God and strive to detach ourselves from anything that will injure our friendship with God, Amen. Saint Blandina, Virgin and Martyr, please pray for us. Saints Perpetua and Felicity, please pray for us. All you, holy saints and martyrs, please pray for us. O Mary, Queen of Martyrs, please pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please do like this video and share this video with others. God bless you and have a great day.